my dear beloved friend and a brother in the Lord, thank God for another opportunity given to us to meet here on this platform, Wake Up to Hope. This is where we meet to discuss the Word of God because we know that our hope coming from no other quarters. Our hope comes from the Lord. And it is important as a Christian to keep your faith with hope alive because it is true hope that the fulfillment of God's promise and plan concerning your life will come to pass. So never ever lose hope. Always when you wake up in the morning, say to yourself, I know that my Redeemer liveth, and I know greater things are going to happen in my life. Continue to hope, be hopeful in the Lord, because that is the promise of God's word unto you. By the grace of God, we have commenced our 21 days fasting and prayers today. And it's going to be a, whole, a long journey, but the Lord himself is in the boat with us. So we take each day at a time and we follow the direction that the headquarters of the church has given to us. All the churches around the world, apostolic churches, are embarking on this spiritual exercise. Beginning the year in God's presence is a great thing. And I want to encourage you that you also will make time to join. Do not allow any distraction to come on your way because this is something that will help you to be able to get more strength to carry on in the year. And because of these 21 days, we have been given a whole team for the 21 days and the team is the unbreakable covenant of victory. God has assured us of his word, victory, and he has covenanted with us. And based on that covenant, which cannot be broken, it tells us that our victory in life here and beyond also will be what will come to pass. And that is why we trust God for this year, because he has spoken concerning this year, and we trust in what he has said, and he will surely bring it to pass. But we have also weekly teams and daily topics as well. But this first week, we are looking at the word is your inheritance and victory. That the word of God, whatever God wants to do in one's life, he first gives the person his word. And once God gives you his word, it assures you of victory. It means you will surely experience what God has promised. So everything you are looking forward to in this year, it is found in the word of God. And once you discover that in God's word, you have discovered your victory. You need to keep confessing it, hold on to it, trust in it, and believing in what God has said. I want to read from Psalm number 119, verse 49 to 50 from the NKJV. It says, Remember the word to your servant upon which you have caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. So this is David speaking, and he's saying to us that he prayed to God, that God, remember your word to me. Because God spoke to him about his destiny. God sent someone to go and ordain him as a king. And for many years, the word seemed like delaying. And he was wandering and going around. So he went on his knees and said, God, remember your word. Because the first thing God gave to him is his word. Beloved, every word that God has given to you, God is committed to it. And that assures you of your victory. He says, in my afflictions, in my difficulties, one thing that keeps me going is the word that God gave to me. Because faithful is he who has promised. And the same is the one who will bring it to pass. God is committed to every word. Bible says the heavens and the earth will pass away. But my word will never pass away. So God's word remain the same and it will bring you whatever it has promised. So this week, as seven days in a week, we have topic for each day which directs our daily prayer lines. And I want to bring them to you so that you will know what to do in each day. Number one, the word is unbreakable covenant of God. The word, which is the scriptures that you have, is the unbreakable covenant of God. Number two, the poverty of ignorance of the word, that you don't be ignorant of God's word. It keeps you poor in the spirit. There is power in the word. Whatever power God's promise or God exhibit, it comes through his word. God's word is his power to us. Number four, the power of the word in the life of the disciple. Okay, when the word of God comes to you, 
what you have received is power. And this, the disciple, as the follower of Christ, you have to allow the word to express itself. Now, pray for the power of the Holy Spirit. That is the fifth one. You pray for the power of the Holy Spirit. Then the sixth one is living by the power in the word of God. And the seventh one, it says, the word is your inheritance and victory. These are the topics that you need to take daily and focus and meditate and read about and pray alongside. And I can assure you, the glory of God will descend on you. God will do great things. I want to encourage you to embark on these 21 days and your life will never be the same. God bless you. Amen.